and violence and other kind of violence. Developments now in the case of a Cobb County golf pro murdered alongside two other men right on the golf course. We now know that the suspect, Brian Roden, is facing the death penalty. And Channel 2's Michelle Newell is live at the Cobb County Courthouse in Marietta where some decisions were made regarding Roden's trial. Michelle. Yeah, this wasn't a long process at all. It started at 11 a.m. and wrapped up before 11.15. Judge Robert Floynoy is assigned to the trial. Eight Superior Court judges were assigned a number based on their seniority. The numbers were placed on balls and put inside a cage. The clerk of chief deputy spinned that cage for about 15 seconds, and Judge Floynoy's number was picked. Now, as we mentioned, the DA's office is seeking the death penalty against one of the suspects, Brian Roden. He faces three counts of murder and a list of other charges. Three people, including an employee and beloved golf pro, Gene Siller, were found shot to death at the Pine Tree Country Club last July. Investigators say uh, Justin Pruitt helped Roden duct tape and zip tie Henry Valdez and Paul Pearson before they drove them to the golf course, uh, where both victims were found shot to death in the bed of a pickup truck on the golf course. Now, Roden is accused of shooting and killing Siller, who just happened to be at the golf course checking in that time now. Meantime, we're working to figure out when a trial date will be set and we'll have more information on that for Channel 2 Action News at 4. Live from Cobb County, Michelle Newell, Channel 2 Action News. Michelle, thank you very much. A case that shocked so many people and looking for new developments here. We'll be checking back with you throughout the day. It's confirmed with 11 Alive that his office plans to seek the death penalty against a man accused of killing three people at a country club last year. Our Joe Hankey joining us now with the latest on the case and the message the jailed suspect posted to social media this week. Joe? Well, Sheba, that message appeared on Instagram yesterday, and now today the district attorney's office confirmed they are preparing to seek the death penalty in the case against Brian Roden. As he sits inside the Cobb County Jail, this message appeared Tuesday on Brian Roden's Instagram account. It begins, contrary to the plethora of prejudicial publicity, the allegations made against me are erroneous. In response to questions of whether Roden posted the message from jail, a Cobb Sheriff's Office spokeswoman replied that message was sent by someone else on his behalf. Prosecutor turned defense attorney Daryl Cohen says he would advise his clients against making such a post, but he sees what Roden might be trying to do. As a lawyer, I don't like it. But it's not terrible. He's, again, he's trying to change. He's on the bottom right now, and he's trying to even up the score and have a jury say, wait a minute, he didn't do this. This evidence is erroneous. It's not good. So he's trying to be a pretrial publicist for himself. Roden has been in jail since last July. He's charged with first murdering two men and then, according to Cobb police, driving a truck onto the Pine Tree Country Club golf course with their bodies in the back. The club's golf pro, Gene Siller, went to check on what was happening, and Roden is accused of killing Siller because he witnessed what was happening. Roden faces multiple counts of murder, kidnapping, and aggravated assault. Now, District Attorney Flynn Brody is confirming his office will seek the death penalty with this statement. Juries are funny things. You just never know. They look at defendants and they instantly love them, they instantly hate them, or they instantly just want to hear how it shakes out. Cohen says if Roden is convicted, he does not believe enough evidence is known publicly yet to say if a jury is likely to issue a death sentence. It really depends on how it comes out in court, how it breaks out in court, what the testimony is, how people testify against him, whether or not he has been bragging that he did this, whether or not as his Instagram post given to someone else says, I'm innocent. And we contacted Roden's attorney today for any comment on the death penalty being sought in this case, but we have not heard back. Meanwhile, Roden recently wrote a letter from jail to the Cobb County court clerk. Coming up at 6, I'll show you that letter and the concerns it might raise for his attorney. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, like the video, hell, share the video, and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence 
in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. The attorney's office is now seeking the death penalty in the case against a triple murder suspect. Brian Roden is accused of shooting and killing three men who were found dead at the Pine Tree Country Club last summer. CBS 46's Tori Cooper is live from the Cobb County Courthouse with an update on the case and the latest on the suspect. Tori? Believe it or not, Rob, the suspect, 23-year-old Brian Roden, somehow managed to post a message to his Instagram account less than 24 hours ago from his jail cell. In his post, he says that this entire investigation is an assassination on his character, but today the court is responding. Wednesday morning, the Cobb County District Attorney's Office announced they are seeking the death penalty against 23-year-old Brian Roden. Today, a random lottery also determined which judge will preside over his trial. We had a mission to come to a successful conclusion of this. That was Cobb County Police last July, addressing the community, alleging Rodin drove this white truck up onto the 10th hole of the Pine Tree Country Club golf course. Detectives say beloved golf pro and father of two, 46-year-old Gene Siller, rushed towards Rodin to see why he was driving on the green. Seconds later, police say Rodin shot and killed Siller and took off. I want Gene's legacy to be remembered for what he stands for and the humble, kind human being that he is. Siller was not the only person found shot to death on the course. Henry was in service on a daily basis. It breaks my heart to even think of his last moments. Out of anybody I know, he does not deserve that. Police say they found 46-year-old Henry Valdez and 76-year-old Paul Pearson tied up and shot to death in the back of the suspect vehicle. Both men were from out of town and police say Pearson was the owner of the stolen truck. This is video from Rodin's Instagram account, where less than 24 hours ago, he also posted this message saying in part, the claims against him are false. It's an attempt to slam his character, and he hopes the community will keep an open mind as his day in court approaches. Now, you may also remember that there was a massive manhunt for Rodin that lasted nearly a week until he was eventually arrested on felony murder, aggravated assault charges, as well as kidnapping. But just a few moments ago, Judge Robert E. Flournoy was the judge that was selected in today's lottery to be the presiding judge over his trial. We'll continue to monitor how this moves through the courts, and we'll share the very latest with you right here. Reporting live in Cobb County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. So it is what it is.